Okay, let's shortly go over uh, setting up multicast streaming on this. Uh, this is the standard broadcast streaming. Multicast, you need your service provider has to have that capability. So I think we need to uh, work on multicast, so standard multicast. And you go to uh, the server and you go to Windows Media Services. And uh, there you can. Uh, when the first time you use it, you have to add your server, type in your IP address, might as well already set up. And there's some help and stuff, and it's uh, help is only that good. And I can uh, just have a recipe go through it. Okay, yeah. Once your server is added, you'll see you'll have uh, ability for advertising properties that generally if you want. Most of them will work the way it's set up, but you want to uh, have them enabled. Authentication, uh, Windows Anonymous, and all. Cassie Proxy, I don't have that. It's like working off of a firewall or a server. Control protocol, you got to have that. This one is a, a gotcha. You got a web server with using a certain IP address. Uh, my web server uses. 198 and I'm also using that same IP address for the streaming uh, with a different port 8088 using the same thing this is IP version 6 but service provider doesn't have that so it doesn't really do much I run uh, same IP address again on the uh, RSTP server control protocol but again a different port uh, use the default port 554. And the web uses port 80, so you know, there's no conflict that way. You know, it just won't work if you have a conflict. Um, Explain source. Enable mo most of the other stuff. Unic Unicast is fine. Uh, getting started. Uh, content. Fine. Uh, well, here I already have uh, publishing points here, and again this one is I just created. You want to watch uh, properties. You want to watch uh, there's another pro set of properties. One for the server, one for the actual publishing point and enable pretty much uh just about everything logging authorization that notification I just said click enable click on it authentication anonymous users finally click the can for login people yeah. you can set uh, values to uh Bandwidth and connections. So I want how much you want. I leave it at one minute. Uh, okay. Get that wireless. Board correction. Enable that. Enable cache proxy. You probably got just a while. Uh, tell it never to expire in the cache proxy. Read that in the book. Archiving. That takes up disk drive space, so if you want to use that stuff. This multicast is something your service provider. You've got to have credentials, or it won't work. Let's type in the username. Click apply. Specified, so that'll work. Buffering enabled. Well, okay, so actual recipe. Uh, with that. Okay, I want to set one up. You, you click on a publishing point. 
right click publishing point add publishing point advanced yeah. add publishing point and then click the broadcast radio button name the publishing point demo demo or something give it a name the location content folder this is the gotcha you gotta put the uh, PSH gotta have that for a push put encoder encoder push item the content type example we wanna put push click on that click OK click on the name of the server go back to the server check uh, master properties and then they have you go through uh, control protocol again that's that's what you gotta watch on this one they have their different uh, port number On the other one, make sure they're enabled. They have to be enabled. They won't work unless they're enabled. Okay, go back to the new one. See its control panel, just the one we just set up. default state is off but remember the encoder push mode turns it on automatically if your encoder is running you can test a client player right now by keying in the URL broadcast example poll the number screen is the actual IP address of the Windows Media 9 server when the Windows order is turned off, the publishing point will turn off automatically. Okay, so that's that's it. There's a, just uh, enabling a few things in the uh, newly created uh, publishing point. Once some aren't necessary. And I was using the uh, authentication. Okay. Uh, string okay, it never expires. Archive it if you want to. Got a lot of disk space, it's fine. Uh, there's a service provider item there. Credentials. Specified. Must be specified. User. Specified network. And then so uh, this is uh, the second part. The first part is to set up uh, your remote computer, which can be just a laptop or an XP or whatever, as long as it has a media encoder installed on it, a free media encoder. And you, you set uh, it up with the camera for a broadcast event. And uh, I activate the server. You know, that'll be a separate uh, topic.